Hey guys, Miss Jager here, and welcome back to another channel update. And today we'll start things off by giving some good news. Yes, we have a channel series back from the dead. Yes, yes, we are back from the dead, and it is glorious. Oh my god, it is glorious. Um, okay, so basically, uh, to explain, it's been about two months since I last recorded anything to do with the Dawn of War series, and for those of you wondering which series, I'm doing basically doing a Dawn of War Let's Play, for those of you who have recently subscribed, uh, on the Ultimate Apocalypse mod for Dawn of War Soulstorm, and I'm doing it as the Imperial Guard. And I got to like episode six, recording-wise, and then I did the recording, and then I jumped straight in um, a few hours later, because that was when I had to go to work, ran Trivial for the win. And so I did the entire battle um, of the Orc Stronghold, and uh, like a little bit extra because of the time we had. And I got back afterwards the footage, and I realized my microphone hadn't recorded it. It was just, it just, for some reason, didn't want to record that microphone. So that was a disaster. But then, I, like, almost immediately after I had that issue, then my whole internet situation went to shit anyhow. So after spending God knows how much time trying to sort the internet out and then finally getting to install, you know, Windows 10 and then reinstalling everything that I previously had, I thought, you know what, solid, let's try it again. See if we can import the saves from the previous game and try and see if we can fight that battle again. Um, I tried to get the Mod Studio thing to work, which is where in my previous update you may have mentioned me. I may have mentioned it and I didn't know whether or not I was going to be able to continue the series. But luckily, I was able to find someone who helped me out and it was fan fucking tastic. Um, having Googled the problem so many times on the Mod Studio for it then to finally work and then to be able to finally get on with the campaign. Oh, I'm overjoyed. Um, so yeah, we are now back. Though there is going to be a few differences with this campaign over the previous one. Um, the first difference is that I kind of... Well, because I redid the whole campaign thing, because the, the saves just wouldn't work. I think it was because it was the patch, but it could also be because it's Windows 10. I don't know. I did lo I did locate the correct save locations and everything, but so far it doesn't seem to want to be cooperative, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, so basically uh, we had the save files uh, sorted, and uh, basically I just played through the game. So my character isn't as buffed as he was when we launched the attack. Um, he's not received as many upgrades, so he's not as powerful as he could be. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, also, we, uh, with regards to the new patch, we now have access to better shit. Um, so there's a few new buildings that the Imperial Guard can work on, as well as a few new uh, big weapons as well. I won't go into details, but suffice it to say, when I discover them, you'll know my reaction. <laughs> Yes, it's going to be marvellous. Um, but yeah, finally, uh, obviously the the layout of the campaign is going to be different. Uh, I actually did miss a terrain because I was worried that one particular faction was going to be able to knock out the orcs before I had a chance to attack them. So I'm like, I'm going to just stop you there. There you go. So that's fun. That's a lot of fun. But that said, um, I am I'm I'm very much looking forward to continuing the series. It's going to be stressful, and I'm gonna ha I'm gonna highlight now. This campaign and these battles is going to be big. Like, I've not really played a whole amount of this mod. So, and I've unfortunately probably selected one of the larger, like, one of the harder factions to do well in. <laughs> so, it's going to be one of those slugfest moments where it, I'm probably going to be in a game for, like, over an hour, potentially, before I'm in a position where I can rip the shit out of the enemy and then win the day. So, you know, it's going to be one of those, God, this is going to be a bit of a harsh battle scenario but fingers crossed once i figured out a technique to making my guys ultra strong and ultra awesome it shouldn't be a problem so yeah confidence and touch wood i'm probably willing <laughs> anyway um that's the good news on uh now we're going to go into a bit more of a serious note with regards to live streaming now i didn't do any live stream last week because well the week before last i basically noted that i'm kind of realized i'm not really gonna cut out for live streaming um, and this is after doing live streaming for a while now. I mean, I did live streaming on both Twitch and I've done it on YouTube. And it doesn't really seem to gain as much of uh, a good war and a war. A good, uh, it doesn't seem to gain as much of a good award slash a good feeling as recording stuff. Um, it sounds a bit harsh, but yeah, there isn't really anything that work. It works out for you know. Which don't get me wrong. It's in you know when we've had the good times. I've enjoyed the good times, but. 
I don't really feel like it feels more like a slog now to do a live stream and I don't really want to play a game when I don't really want to. Like if when I get back home from work, I just want to sit down and watch a film. I kind of want to do that now. So for the time being, uh, no more live streams now. So it'll just be the three videos per week. Um, and if sometime down the line there is a calling for it and it works or if I do a live stream with someone else and they're like, hey, that actually works out, maybe I might return to live streaming. But right now I don't really see any benefits from doing live streaming anymore. And yeah, I'm just it, it's just kind of falling apart now. So, But still, I do appreciate everyone who has watched the live stream. And there, are, there is going to be some footage. Um, you can go on my YouTube channel now and you can actually see, like, I think on my YouTube there's, like, a few live stream stuff. So there is stuff like that going there. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to play certain games anymore. It just means that you'll probably have them in a recorded format rather than the usual, than, rather than it being on live. So, yeah, thank you very much for everyone who did watch those sort of things as well. So that's for that one. Okay, uh, last bit of news is, obviously, I haven't really been doing a whole lot of World of Tanks lately, nor have I been doing much of Armored Warfare or Arm... Um, well, I've been doing a bit more armor lately, but mainly World of Tanks and Armored Warfare are kind of falling into the background. But don't worry, I'm not going to stop doing those videos. Don't We're still going to do them. And I still am going to do the... Pro I did promise you guys I'd do a review of the Tiger, the King Tiger, and the E75. So fear not, my dear friends, we shall do it. Um, but at the moment, with regards to the summer holidays, I don't really want to run against a, a brick wall when it comes to the player base on the uh, well, the player skill level on the game, because it's just it's just going to be a nightmare trying to do a review on a tank seriously when the teammates around you are just absolutely retarded at times, or you're in a game where everyone you play against is so with is so damn good you can't really get a decent replay. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a shame. Um, but still, uh, I will be jumping on to it as more often as the month of September arrives, because that's when the kids go back to school. Yay! I probably lost a few people because of that, but eh. alas, I am myself. I cannot proclaim to be any more than what I am. Um, obviously, we're also going to be doing stuff regarding Armored um, Warfare. I have been making progress on that. I haven't played it in a few days, but I have been gr I have been doing some serious grinding on that game. So there will definitely be uh, a video about a certain vehicle I'll be unlocking very soon. <laughs> There'll be a video on that vehicle, and it's going to be awesome. And it's going to be fun. And obviously, with regards to the armor content, you guys may see be seeing another armor video coming up very soon. Uh, but the main thing is, I want to kind of focus primarily on uh, Soulstorm and uh, the, the Nappy Total War sort of thing. Because obviously, Britain v. Europe... Was, uh, needs to be finished, that war needs to be won, and also um, Soulstorm needs to be won as well, and once I've done Soulstorm and uh, Britain v Europe, then I'll be able to 100% focus on other stuff before we can jump onto another Let's Be thing. But I'm really enjoying both Nappy and uh, Soulstorm, because both are tactically, I'm really in a sort of strategy mood at the moment, um, both are tactically sound, both have um, serious problems at the moment, you know, uh, ironically, we're in a, I'm, I'm actually thinking about it. I'm kind of in a similar position with both games. It's like we're in a position where we can get fucked really badly. But at the same time, it's not such a dire situation that we're completely boned. So, yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to working with and uh, working around as well. So I hope you guys will be there to see it. Well, anyway, guys, that's about it for this channel update. Thank you very much for sticking around and listening to me blathering on. And I will always say this because I think it's very important that I constantly say this so that, well, it just, it still applies, it, even if, even if um, I've done it a thousand times. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed, watched my channel, sent a comment down below. Um, every kind of, and every, any kind of activity on the channel is always appreciated. Critical feedback. Um, messages on the chat, even even something as simple as someone liking the video, that is even that just watching it and clicking the like button is always appreciated, and I always will be happy about that. So thank you ever so much, and uh, I hope to see you next time. This is Miss Jagger signing out. <laughs>